From July, obviously, when lockdown finished, we managed to get all of our activities up and running again, which was fantastic. We had a really good summer um, in, involved with the summer soccer schools. Uh, our NCS programme was fully functional and working with our health and wellbeing programme, which launched our loneliness programme that I know we'll go on to speak about. Um, and then obviously from September onwards, our students returned on our foundation degree programmes and BTEC programmes that we run. Our coach education programmes were all in full flow and, and thankfully with this lockdown they're going to stay in full flow. So our primary school deliveries were still supporting 30 35 um, schools across the county making sure that those children stay active during this this second lockdown and then we'll also make sure that all the, the students and the participants that we have on our education programs are still engaged through either face-to-face -face or online means um, we'll just continue to keep adapting to the the restrictions that are put in place to make sure that we are reaching out to to those students and then our main priority now going forward will be to make sure that those vulnerable participants that we see, those that are trying to improve their mental health and, and well-being, those that are lonely at home and um, those are, that are elderly and inactive to make sure that they can stay active during this time and making sure that they stay connected, they stay su supported and, and we inspire them to stay active as well during this time. I think the biggest challenges will be very much, will be different from the first time in the first lockdown when the weather was very good. So we're, we're very much looking to support loneliness and making sure that those people that are lonely um, within our community have an opportunity to stay connected with others. That might be through connecting um, fans together, so fans that can help out, fans that are a little bit maybe more mobile and, and can support those people that that are sat at home on their own and, and that can lead to mental health and emotional um, well-being and again that is something that we are really concerned about with the groups that we work with is making sure that their mental and emotional well-being um, is as good as it can possibly be in this situation and then moving forward um, and being positive we will come out of this um, soon hopefully sooner rather than later we are now really planning towards opening up our own employability strand so that will involve making sure that people get involved in the kickstart scheme that is happening there's a new traineeship program and another one for for those that will be potentially out of work for a lot longer than what has lockdown has been and what um, covid has caused so we will be working with those that are furthest away from jobs and employment and making sure that they can get back on their feet which in turn will hopefully reduce the mental and emotional well-being um, problems that may happen in this county and obviously that links to homelessness and all the other work and the projects that we're doing going forward. Check out our website first of all, that'll make sure that all the contact details are there. Ring the football club, the football club will have somebody there that can pass their details on to us. Um, we will be getting in touch with everybody via email and via phone call that we've got on a database through the football club as well. So we will do our best to get in touch with them. If not, please get in touch. There's, there's social media, email and phone that you can get in touch with us with.